This is the Action Movie Guys podcast, bringing you action movie reviews from across the decades, plus box office numbers and insight like never before. And now, your hosts of the Action Movie Guys podcast, Alex and Nate. What's up, everybody? Welcome to episode number 238 of the Action Movie Guys podcast. I'm your host, Nate, and this is my co-host, Alex Figueroa. And on this episode, we are beginning a new month. It is now March. So, you know, we have a new theme and the theme this month is piece of crap action movies. Now, (laughs) these are movies that have either low Rotten Tomato scores or were big time box office bombs or a combination of the two, which usually happens. Sometimes these movies have a 2% and make $100 million. None of these will be the case. So the first one we're going to be doing today, probably on the higher end as far as Rotten Tomato scores, but still low, is a little movie called Dragon Ball Evolution from 2009. Alex, have you ever seen this movie? I, first of all, I never even heard of it. I'm not <laughs> a, I, again, I can't even say I'm a fan of Dragon Ball Z. I heard of the Dragon Ball Z, but I don't follow the cartoons or anything or the card game or anything Dragon the Ball card, Z. I don't know nothing The card about. game of, dra- of Dragon Ball Z. <laughs> I don't even think it has a card game. Oh, okay. But it has a lot of video games. I know that. Oh, there you go. Yeah, I don't know nothing about it. Nothing. Okay, so you're, this is like, this is essentially your experience with Dragon Ball is this movie. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Pretty much. Interesting. <laughs> Interesting. Well, let's see if you are ever going to be checking out the anime or anything like that. Before we do, you already know, we got to give you some Rotten Tomato scores. So I said this is on the high end because I know the other three movies are lower than this, but this is still low. This has a 15%. Critic score. So very Oof. bad. And somehow, and this seems extremely high to me, a 20% audience score. It's still very low, mm. but I don't know how one fifth of every one out of every five people who reviewed this thought it was pretty good. We're going to give you, you know what though? Let's not do We don't like to do spoilers. Maybe we liked it. We, we saw some, you know, uh, last time we did this month, they were pretty much all crap, but there was I remember one, the movie. Yeah. Which one was it? Get Carter. Get Carter. That's the one with the guy who played Gambit. And he was uh, no the John Carter. Movie? John Carter. That's you like what John it was. Carter. Yeah. yeah, I thought it was good. See? I was into it. So you never <laughs> I was know. Really into it. Yeah. John Carter had not the lowest Rotten Tomatoes, but it was like the biggest box office bomb in history. It was like, yeah. but it was pretty good. So you know I what? It. Maybe one of these will be good. We don't know. We're gonna find out. All right. So uh, Alex, go first. Uh, okay. Lee Carter is Goku. Mm-hmm. He is the Dragon Ball Z guy. Dragon Ball um, yeah. is played by Justin Chatwin, which is a weird choice, but uh, take it away. What did you think? A one. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Uh, let's just be okay. Well, first of all, straight <laughs> out the back, this dude was fucking corny. I don't know nothing about Goku. The only thing I do see, I mean, when you go to the mall and you would, I see the character with the big orange hair or the black hair, he changes his orange, whatever it is, and he has the yellow. orange jumpsuit. Yeah. Yeah. When he's like Super Saiyan, I guess it's called Super, Super Saiyan. Saiyan whatever. It turns all yellow. Yeah, yeah, I seen that. So I kind of know who it is from the look. I agree with you. It does not look like Goku to me. But in terms of acting, it is like straight channel, like Sesame Street <laughs> acting, like really bad acting. Like anyway, and it, so he plays this young kid. I don't even know how old he's supposed to be, but he's like super young in, in this one. He's 18. He's 18. He's turning, he turns 18, 18, 18 that's in right. the movie. Yeah. He's 18 years old. He learns how to do all these powers because I guess it is what it is. He does some wind power <laughs> shit that I'm like, what is this? <laughs> I'm, I'm literally, I'm thinking airbender when I'm watching this. Well, movie. they keep saying airbending. You're doing yeah. airbending. Yeah. So honestly, it's gonna be a bad description for me because I really don't know nothing about Dragon Ball Z. So I'm just gonna let you take it away because I don't want people to be like, yeah, this dude is massacring this damn thing. I gave him a one. He's god awful. Not a good actor. Well, Nate, take it away. Don't leave please. it to me to save the day because I gave him a one. <laughs> He's horrible. <laughs> do not, do not put that pressure on me. This guy, first of all, Justin Chatwin is the Goku's not white. Goku's not white. This is a, it's mm. Asian. Why couldn't they just cast a young Asian guy? Guess what? There's a character in this movie called Chi Chi. Chi Chi is actually from <laughs> Dragon Ball. Like that's that's canon. That is his girl. That's Goku's girl. That's his wife. In, oh, okay. So it's fine. But she's Asian. Master Roshi. He's of course played by Chow Yun Fat in this movie. He's Asian, right? They got that right. His adopted grandpa. He's Asian. And then this oh, we got geez. White Goku. I don't understand. It was super weird choice. He's bad. The only time he kind of looks like Go- Goku is after he turns into the monkey, the big horrible looking CGI monkey. When he turns back, he has the spiky hair like a little bit. And like, okay, he looks like <laughs> Goku 1% because of the hair. The acting, you're right. This is like, this movie's for kids. 
This movie's for kids. There's no way. Yeah. And and Dragon Ball, you know, the fans in 2009, the people who would want to go see this were not 10 year old kids. They were older. This this came in like 90s and early 2000s was really when Dragon Ball and Dragon Ball Z, Dragon Ball Z really blew up like crazy. Like I remember it from like middle school. So when this came out, 2009, I was in my early 20s. Like I was probably more the target audience. And this movie's for eight year olds. Like this is a stupid movie. All the his acting is terrible. The characters, there's no backstory. Like the movie just starts and he's just training and he knows how to do the key and do like little fireballs and stuff. It just moves from point A to Z in like 10 minutes. There's no explanation for anything. He likes the girl. What can you say about this character? He has a grandpa. He likes a girl. And that's it. And he has a Dragon Ball. Like there's, uh, the, well, we got to save it for there storyline. Was, there was a, a horrible scene. character. There is a horrible character. There was a scene that I laughed so hard and I had a migraine watching this movie <laughs> that I was hurting myself. Yeah. Was when he was going to the party and he puts gel on his hair and then the hair re-spiked itself. Yeah. I couldn't stop laughing on how <laughs> stupid that was because it was CGI. Yeah. Like it literally, was it was bad. I, I thought I thought it was. You know, like bad. when they were I, when they were standing on the lines, like on the on the the oh, clothing that was line. Ba- and oh doing Jesus! All the, Fighting. Or when he has to like, she's like, if you could light the fires or you could put out the fires, you could step one step closer. And if you no light the fire, you could step. And then he doesn't do it, and she's like. One step back. He's like so mad. I mean, he's already super close to her. Oh my God, Chi Chi. What a disaster. Okay, <laughs> main villain. Now, in this movie, it is Piccolo. Now, Piccolo is straight from the he's Dragon Ball green guy. In this, he was played by James Marsters, who's from Buffy. He was in Yeah, Buffy. he plays Spike. Yeah, he yeah, plays Spike. He yeah. looks nothing like that guy <laughs> under this makeup. He's the main villain. What'd you think? A one. Another one. <laughs> I, I'm going to be really honest with you. I, I, I don't know who the fuck he was, bro. He, I, he, he looked like a green glob of, like, I thought he was like a Marvel character. What was the one from Captain America? I mean, Captain of uh, Oh, Avengers? you thought he was like a, like a scroll? A score, yeah, that's what he looked like. Kinda. He looked horrible. He looked like Zordon came out of the screen in the Power yeah. Rangers. He, he looked like a Power Rangers, like Ivan Ooze, but green. He did, yeah, he did. He looked, he looked god awful. He sounded awful. His fighting was awful. CGI all over the place. The only cool part that he did is when he destroyed the house with his hands. Mm-hmm. I thought that was cool. He was like, ah, and I was like, yeah, that's pretty cool. Pistachio, what, what is his name? Uh, uh, Piccolo. Piccolo. <laughs> Yeah, whatever the fuck he's doing. Yeah, Lord Piccolo. I, God, I'm God. honestly, I couldn't, I couldn't connect with that character either. The storyline, I guess, is because of the storyline, but we'll talk about that in a few seconds. <laughs> but I gave it a one. I, I couldn't get it. Yeah, so he's not much of a villain. I mean. First of all, they give the backstory of who he is. He's trapped in a prison. And then all of a sudden he's out. Like he's just out. They they don't really show how he got out or nothing. He just tells that Asian girl. He's like, imagine being in, trapped in a thing with just your thoughts or whatever he says for 2000 years. That was what I did for 2000 years. <laughs> okay. But how did you get out? I don't know. What does he want to do? He wants to collect the Dragon Balls. So, so Dragon Ball Z, Dragon Ball GT, Dragon Ball, all the Dragon Ball. There's like multiple types of series. That's the main point is you want to cut. If you have all seven Dragon Balls, you can grant this wish from this dragon thing. You know, I don't, I'm not super heavy into the anime, but I know a lot of the characters and stuff like that. So Piccolo, from what I remember, he was good in the, in the, he was a good guy, but I'm thinking, I think I read somewhere like his dad was bad. So maybe this is that version of Piccolo, like the original. Either way, he's a horrible villain. He just flies around in like, a ship in the sky. He's looking for the balls. His hench woman does most of the work. He just is not there. He lets her go and do everything and try to get the balls. And then he stays up there. And then when they do fight, all they do is throw, like throw fireballs at each other. He's like, ugh, ugh, ugh. like there's, <laughs> you're talking, you're telling me that this series that has some amazing fight scenes. I'm serious. If you do watch Dragon Ball and you just see like Google, like best fights from Dragon Ball Z or something. Awesome fights. It's martial arts, but also with like a mix of like powers, like they could fly, they go really fast. They could do fire. But it's like if Street Fighter and I don't know, something like a superhero movie, like had a baby. It's like, it's that kind of fight. And this, they don't fight like that in this movie. They don't do like a hand to hand, cool, mar- nothing. They throw crap at each other. He loses. It's horrible. I give him a one. I give him a one. You're, I'm with you. There's no backstory. There's no like anything other than I want to collect all the balls. Horrible. Um, <laughs> I don't want to collect all the balls. 
action. I gave it a one. Oh, dang. I'm sorry. I, I couldn't, I couldn't be behind this action. This action, it was horrible. The fighting on the on the shoe lines or the laundry lines, that shit was bad. Them jumping looked like a group of men just pulled a rope and they just flew up. <laughs> just it fly looked away. horrible. Yeah, that looked freaking horrible. The last fight, if you want to call it a fight, was even worse when he was putting balls together. Mm-hmm. And he's like, oh, whatever. Yeah. And then this horrible dragon came out and I didn't know what the fuck was going on. And I'm like, why is this dragon from Never Ending Story here? Like, I was so lost with the storyline. I guess because you have to be a fan of the show, I, I, I guess. But the fighting was not from what all my friends that watch this type of animation I know for a fact it does not look like this in the animated no. cartoon. No. From what everyone told me, the Matrix 3, when uh, Neo versus Agent Smith on the sky, looked more of a Dragon Ball Z fighting. A million like percent. Them- yeah, yeah, it looked more than like that live action than this is. Yes. But so I'm going to be honest with you, Nate. This was not a good fighting movie. I'm going to be honest. It's not good. I don't know if you found anything here that was good, but I gave it a well, one. Well, I did like, I didn't like anything. I gave it a one, too. I, there's no part that I like. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. The part that cracks me up is when they're, when Bulma, who Bulma's played by Emmy Rossum. Now, Bulma looks pretty white in the show, so that's not a bad casting. Emmy, Emmy Rossum is super hot, but she is so terrible in this movie. Her acting is so bad. Like, she's doing this weird voice the whole movie, and I'm like, why is she talking like that? I don't understand. Anyway, the part where Bulma's dri- they're driving on that thing with Master Roshi, like, driving to the hole, like, the way it looks, and then she tries to shrink her little car. Oh, my God, it's so horrible. And then Yamcha. Now, Yamcha is a Dragon Ball character. He's nothing like the guy in this movie. The guy in this movie is like a surfer Asian Yamcha. He's like, you guys are the one in the hole. <laughs> She's said something. He's like, but I'm the one with the ladder. And I'm like, oh, Lord, there's a fight with Jamie Ch- Chi versus Chi Chi. Fake Chi Chi versus real Chi Chi. It's not that good. The end part where he turns into the monkey. Horrible, 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 horrible. It looks the CGI in this movie is like just absolutely atrocious. Uh, the action consists of throwing fireballs, Goku dodging people at that party where that guy's trying to hit him with the stick and just keeps like dodging. Yes. Oh, that was- what is this like some karate kid nonsense where it's like, and I don't know, karate kid's a way better movie than this, but I'm just saying it's that kind of like eighties, like I'm, I'm so good at martial arts. I can just dodge you and beat you and make you guys hit each other. It's so goofy. Again, this is for six year olds. I'm lowering the age. This movie is for six year olds. It's appropriate. There's no cursing in it, really. There's not that much. And you got Chow Yun Fat. Chow Yun Fat from all these great John Woo action movies, from freaking Crouching Tiger Hidden Dragon, from Bulletproof Monk. <laughs> You're telling me <laughs> you can't get this guy? To do some cool action, absolutely terrible. A one, storyline. A one. I was lost with the storyline. I know you connect all the balls, seven balls, and you grant a wish from a dragon, I guess. Yeah. It was just horrible. It was a horrible storyline. Oh, I forgot Ernie Hudson was in this too. Yeah, your boy. He was like a oh, bald, white eyebrow guy. I, I, I couldn't. I couldn't. I lost it. I was like, why am I watching this shit? <laughs> It was bad. The storyline, again, a one. I thought the storyline was okay, but I think if it was a way better written movie, I I thought it was pretty cool. But damn, they put the balls together in two seconds. And the acting in this, let me just tell you, you got some pretty much big kind of time actors here, right? Yeah. Chayon Fang stinks in this damn movie, right? You got Emily Rosen, which was from Phantom of the Opera, from from what I remember. uh, Shameless for like many seasons. Yeah, it is bad, dude. It was bad. Storyline, I gave it a one. Honestly, I couldn't connect with the story. The love story was really Channel 11 horrible CW superhero DC bullshit that I go through every time I see a CW movie, a TV show. It is horrible. The acting is atrocious. The CGI is atrocious. I am ashamed because I've never seen none of the Dragon Ball Z. If I was a fan of Dragon Ball Z, I would write to whoever wrote this fucking movie (laughs) and threaten their life because this is horrible to me so it's a one the, yeah the storyline's a one i don't know you're right if you don't know the source material 
because it's a manga, so it's a comic book, a Japanese comic that got turned into a show, an anime show, and it has many movies, like animated movies. They still come out with them even now. So it has a lot of history and lore, and if you don't know any of it and you watch this movie, you still won't know any of it by the end of the movie. You will, you, if this is, like in your case, if this is your absolute first intro to the world of Dragon Ball, you would say, <laughs> how does anyone like Dragon Ball. How does anyone like this? And that's because it's nothing like the actual one. So they did a horrible job of adapting it. They did uh, every, uh it's a Disney Channel. You want to talk about the love story? Disney Channel love story. Horrible. Mm. It just and the storyline like the pay, this movie's 85 minutes. 85 minutes. It honestly and this might be the best thing about it. It feels like it's 45 minutes because it goes so fast. And it just goes from scene to 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 the end. Like, I can honestly say at least I don't feel like I wasted a lot of time because I felt like it was over like that. So in a way, hey, at least it was short. If this movie was two hours, I would have killed myself. I would have jumped <laughs> out of the window. I would have been like, no, no way. This, that was my, the last episode of the Action Movie Guys podcast was my last episode of the podcast. But it's mm. short and it moves fast. But to its detriment, like the, the the story just goes, 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 goes. And there's no time to breathe. There's no character development. There's no like there's just nothing. There's nothing here. I give it a one. What do you uh, over? Oh, I already know what you're going to give it for overall, but just let them know anyway. <laughs> uh, o- overall is a one. Yeah, it, it's not a good movie. I again, I'm, I never seen it. I, I'm very intrigued to see because a lot of people say I would enjoy the Dragon Ball Z's because I like. You like fighting, fighting stuff. Yeah, so I maybe give it a chance. Maybe tonight I might crock it and see uh, uh, one episode just go and see to how it is. YouTube and watch like best Dragon Ball fight. And yeah. just see if you like that action. Yeah. But I'll tell you this though, this movie is god awful. I mean, you know what? This might take the cake over Rollerball, to be really honest. I'm pretty sure I gave something in Rollerball more than a one. Yeah, I agree. I, don't, I, I agree. Roller, I would rather watch Rollerball than this. Yeah, I would rather be tortured with Rollerball than this damn movie. Like, if you had to, like, sit me down, duct tape me, and keep my eye open, I will give you every information that I know if you put this movie on over and over again. This yeah. movie is god-awful. Yeah, I gave it a one overall. So did I. So did I. This is a one. It makes me want to go back and give Assassins a higher score because I also <laughs> gave that. <laughs> I also gave Assassins all ones. Assassins is way better than this. The Last Airbender is better than this. The Last Airbender was bad, but it is a better. Get this. And this is some people might say blasphemy. It's not. The Last Airbender is a better adaptation of Avatar <laughs> than this is of Dragon Ball. And that's saying something because The Last Airbender is a horrible adaptation of Avatar. But they get more right than this movie gets right about its source. So with that being said, straight ones. I don't want to spend more time on it because it doesn't deserve it. It's an absolute horrible movie. I don't know how this has a 15% from audiences. I mean, from critics. I don't know how it has a 20 from audiences. Like, I've never met anyone in life. Who likes it? I don't know how anyone gave it a good review, but you know what? There's always somebody who will like any movie. So good to you. If you enjoy this movie, I don't have a problem with you. You're probably a nice guy. Me and Alex hated it. A five out of a 25 where I don't even got to ask you what's your total. We both give it combined. We gave it a 10 out of a 50. Very, very Mm. horrible. Yeah, it's it's a horrible movie. It's it starts off horrible. It ends horrible. I thought there was like a light at the end of the damn tunnel. This tunnel was going forever. I and couldn't find the light. Thank God for HBO Max having it, so I didn't have to spend any money. Oh, to dude, I would have been so mad if I paid for this shit. If I had oh, to rent I it. Been tight. I will quit yeah. this show. I'd be like, no. Yeah. I'm not doing this anymore. And we're not even getting a stipend. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Exactly. I don't get that 85 minutes back either. Oh, jeez. Um, all right. Yeah. So we're off to a... Uh, here's what I'll say. It's a great start to a horrible month. Here's what I'm going to say, though. It can only go up. I mean, right? It, 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 yeah. I don't think... I don't know if it can get worse. At, at worst, it will be equally bad. But it could go up. What What, what is coming up next, Nate? That, well, that, that you're saying... If we're, we're judging by up. the title... <laughs> I don't know if it's going up. <laughs> so next week, we're starting a brand new series. Of course, we're going to be doing Tim Burton's 1989 film, Batman, an okay. absolute comic book classic, one that really kicked off the genre in a big, mm-hmm. big way after, you know, after Superman, this was the next one. And our next bad movie. Now, I don't I don't know if you've ever seen this movie uh, or heard of it, but it stars your boy, Nicolas Cage. It's a movie called... <laughs> 
It's a movie called Bangkok Dangerous. <laughs> it has an amazing title. So I actually, to be honest with you, I saw this movie back when it came out, when I used to do DVDs in the mail from Netflix and I used to just rent like everything new. I don't remember a single, th- I can't tell you what this movie's about. What I can tell you is it has a lower score than Dragon Ball Evolution. So if that's anything, we might be dealing with another five, but but maybe Nick Cage comes through and maybe there's a cool action scene or something. I don't remember. I don't know, man. I don't know. I saw the old ways with Nicolas Cage. I enjoyed mm-hmm. it for what it was. I saw Pig with Nicolas Cage. I like that movie a lot. So okay. Bangkok Dangerous could be up there. Let's read, never let's know. read the Let's read the synopsis. Let's read the syn- Here's what we're going to do. For this month, every new one, we'll read the synopsis for the next one. Because most of okay. these we probably haven't even seen. So, remorseless assassin Joe is in Thailand to complete a series of contract killings for a crime boss called Surat. He hires a street punk named Kong. <laughs> Kong <laughs> to run errands for him. All the while planning to kill the youth at the conclusion of his assignment. Instead, Joe becomes becomes Kong's unlikely mentor and begins a tentative romance with a local shop girl. But as Joe begins to let his guard down, Surat decides it's time to clean house. Sounds, Sounds pretty good. Better than Dragon Ball. <laughs> <laughs> Are you with that? Now, my question is, is this the one that was selling the 3D at the time with him driving? That was next, I think. No, 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 no. There was oh, one drive that he angry. Was, drive angry. That's what it was. Drive angry. Okay, I thought I like that was drive this. A- drive angry is way mm. better than this. Maybe we'll do okay. it in a future episode. I never it's saw pretty, it, so it's pretty trash, but it's better than this. Okay, yeah, I never saw it. So I get. Well, I never heard of Bangkok. Whatever, dangerous. Bangkok, dangerous. Yeah. All title. right. Fine. Hey, cool with that. All right, guys, there you have it. You guys want to follow us on our social media accounts? Please follow Nate over on Instagram at Netflix Reviews. Check out the podcast with him and his friends called Netflix Movie Reviews. Anything action movie, guys, head over to YouTube.com slash Geeks and Flicks for the video version of the podcast. And we're also on Instagram at Action Movie Guys Podcast. Now, going forward, I did not say this in the last episode. We're going to be releasing our podcasts every Tuesday and Thursday. So all new episodes are now going to be Tuesday and Thursday instead of Thursday and Saturday. Um, it's easier for me to edit and put it out. So again, today, uh, Tuesday, we launched. We're going to be launching new episodes. And now on Thursday is going to be the same old release date on Thursdays. But Tuesdays are going to be now the new release dates also. So you guys will have two episodes a week. So for your enjoyment. But yeah, there you have it, guys. Um, he is your host, Nate from Netflix Reviews. I'm his co-host, Alex Figueroa. Be awesome to each other and geek out. <laughs>